highlights from the 1993 Bobby Poe Convention, including the famous commentaries of Mark Driscoll, Mason Dixon, John Records Landecker, Joel Sokolowitz, and dozens of others too numerous to mention. Experience the riveting keynote address by ERG CEO Daniel Glass. Watch as Jay Wyther tries to convince you that Arbitron is your friend. Be amazed as Jeff McCluskey honors Y102's 25-year vet Larry Stevens. Watch PDs get worked on records at Poolside Barbecue. See what happens when the power goes out at the Sheridan Premier Hotel. See why you need to go on a diet before you go to the Poe. See why the Bobby Poe Convention is the most fun you can have while learning about con- Contemporary Radio Today. Hit it! From the Power Pig in Tampa, I'm Brian James. Now, now, let the show begin. If it's the Sheraton premiere at Tyson's Corner, Virginia, it must be, I'd say. <laughs> another Bobby <laughs> Poe. Another Bobby Poe. Yes, it's, it's another Bobby Poe. <laughs> Not just any Bobby Poe, but the, the, what number is it? Number 22. 22. Bobby Poe, number 22. And, Wait a and second. this art is still doing oh, now I can with, see the, with the fingers, yes. you know, the two. It's a two-two. Yes, well, <laughs> is that what it is? Can't see anything. Take the glasses okay. off here. I took mine off, so neither <laughs> one of us will be able to see anything. I think there's a camera out there. Hi, it is Art There Bolo is a camera out there. In, with Rich. And excuse me. Stevens. Oh, I'm sorry. Rich Stevens. Hi. Yes. Where are you working Not, not only is there a camera out there, but see, times are changing. Times are a little bit rough. Art, I've got the shortest cord I've ever seen in my life on this camera. Hey, please, the cameraman can't where keep am it I working? Steady. Yes, where are you working this right year, now, right, this week? Right now, I'm working at... Insert my station yeah, now. Yeah. <laughs> Job du jour. Where are you now? I'm at the Power Pig in Tampa looking for that full-time gig, but as you're watching this tape, I am at... This is where you insert that other clip oh. that we'll put in there. <laughs> yeah, right. Anyway, uh, we are here. It is Bobby Poe's 25th year in the business, and I'm proud wait, 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 wait. to be here. So it's, it's the 25th, 25th year. 25th year. And it's the 22nd yes. Well, he went, he went three years before he lost his mind and decided okay. to start having conventions. Okay. So, Bobby, hats off to you again for another great year. It's going to be spectacular. We know it's going to be great. As long as everything, ever, as long as nothing goes wrong, exactly what <laughs> nothing saying, right? will go wrong. Nothing will go wrong at this convention. This is this is going to be a the best one we have ever had. Believe me. And uh, we'll, or your money back from we'll, Art Volo we'll Radio's best friend. So we so we'll I invite you to stay tuned for highlights of the Bobby Poe 1993. <laughs> the drinks. Remember the good things we did? We wanted to jump together and uh, made me uh, drink these things called uh, Mind Erasers. And your leather vest got stolen. Blew my mind that he was teasing the uh, teasing the uh, waitress or the uh, stewards. Yeah, he was. No, he seriously was. He was teasing, teasing, uh, teasing her, calling her. Uh, mind Erasers was erased years ago. Get it to rewrite itself right now.
think you'll change But there's one more thing I gotta say Hats off to Larry It may sound cruel Your turn to cry, cry, cry Now that Larry said goodbye to you To you To you We're here tonight to talk about Larry Stevens. Larry Stevens, you bastard. <laughs> oh, so some of you know him, okay. All right. 25 years at Y102. You know, Larry would still be at the station he was at uh, before he came to Y102, but there was a disagreement between Larry and the management. He thought he should continue to work there. The management disagreed. These are the jokes, folks. This doesn't get any better. <laughs> Last time I write shit on an airplane. <laughs> I could have stayed home and died better than this. Thank you, Paul. No, here, take the rest of it, too. Yeah, yeah. Well, I remember Larry once said to me, I cried because I had no shoes because I met a man who had no feet. I also remember Larry saying to me, I cried because I had no woman until I met a man who had a woman and no penis. The dick jokes aren't even working, all right. <laughs> Larry Stevens, Lifetime Achievement Award for your contributions to the radio and record industry, 1968-1993. So, Larry? My wife of, of 26 years this summer is with me, and she has really been the backbone of my career and has supported me in everything I did. And I just want to thank her for following me. Matter of fact, I had four jobs in one year. I'm not that stable, okay? I'm a typical radio guy. I've moved around four times in one year until I got to Montgomery, and that sort of ended it. But uh, thank you all for attending, and I'm looking forward to another 25. <laughs> 